Your internal clock regulates everything you do, which is why it's too bad that it needs to be rewound so much. Anthony here for D News, and you know that you have an internal clock. You get tired around the same time every day. You wake up around the same time. You have a basic idea of how much time is passing without having to check. Your biological clock is this precision timepiece in your brain called the suprachiasmatic nucleus, or SCN. It's made up of 20,000 neurons that control all the other timing mechanisms of your body, your sleep cycle, your metabolism, hormone production, even cell division. There are 1,440 minutes in a day, and the SCN counts them with only a 1% to 2% margin of error and keeps it running smoothly. It's called the circadian rhythm. So these 20,000 neurons are working together. They have to be able to stay in sync, right? And that takes constant work from a neurotransmitter chemical called GABA. The SCN also takes clues from outside stimuli, particularly sunlight, because we're diurnal animals. As the sun starts rising later or the days get longer, your clock slowly adjusts to make sure that you're set up to be active at the right parts of the day. Now, the downside is that the internal clock is delicate. It doesn't respond well to big changes in your routine or in nature. A sudden upset to your circadian rhythm can cause your hormone regulation to be out of sync, as well as your wake sleep patterns and your times of peak productivity. That's why we're so affected by things like daylight savings time and jet lag. But subtler things can throw you off. And a long-term problem with your internal clock can cause serious health issues. For instance, a study conducted by Northwestern University showed that if your school or office doesn't get enough daylight, you will wind up getting about 45 minutes less sleep a night than people who work in a well-lit building, and the sleep is lower quality overall. And another study from Harvard showed that working just one night shift can impair your glucose tolerance, and in the long term, that can lead to obesity and even type 2 diabetes. Some people have a biological clock that's off to begin with. Somewhere between 7 and 16% of children and teenagers have delayed sleep phase disorder. People with DSPD can't get to bed before 2 or 3 a.m., and nothing gets them up on time. It's different than insomnia because you can get to sleep and it's around the same time every night. It's a full sleep cycle, it's just shifted. It goes away for most people in adulthood, but it can continue, especially in people with ADHD, and research points toward them being genetically linked. A few treatments can be used to reset your internal clock. Phototherapy involves either actively staying out in the sun longer in the early hours of the day or getting a special light that can replace it. Avoiding bright screens or electronics at night can help your clock know when it's time to wind down. Doctors can also help, obviously, with sleep medication. I had crazy DSPD when I was a kid, and I still fight with it a lot now. How about you? How's your internal clock running, Internet? Let me know and subscribe for more D News. <laughs>